The widow of a fallen Metro police officer says they've been forgotten by lawmakers in Frankfurt. Her late husband's union accused members of playing political games with a plan that would change how Kentucky families receive benefits if their loved one is killed in the line of duty. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has the story from the Capitol. The Speaker Pro Tem calls the allegations, quote, absolutely absurd. Whatever the reason, House Bill 185 is still not through committee. Officer Nick Rodman's widow worries for law enforcement families everywhere who may find themselves living their nightmare, then saddled with bills while not receiving the benefits they expected. There was a private meeting before we came here, and uh, to be honest, I feel like there are some legislative people who are dangling the benefits of widows um, with this House Bill 185 because um, our FOP is not backing the pension reform bill and workman's comp bill. And this House Bill 185 has nothing to do with pension reform. It has nothing to do with workman's comp. It has to do with people like my husband who was killed in the line of duty and um, our family is not getting taken care of. And I know that my husband would be livid if he knew that this was happening. Ashley Rodman and three other widows of fallen officers hope to testify in favor of HB 185. Instead, the plan that would create uniformity and close loopholes for line of duty death benefits was not on the agenda with 11 days left in this legislative session. Louisville's FOP president claims the slow up is political payback. It has been told to us that, that if we can get behind the pension bill that or say the other way around, that if Senate Bill 1 doesn't pass, then 185 is not going to pass. Who told you that? We had members meetings with members of House leadership and other legislators uh, that are in the current majority. I'm not retaliating against anyone. That bill has never been posted. I have I've talked to many people about it, uh, but uh, that's just not true. The committee's chair said the bill is still being worked on. Its primary sponsor echoed that, and House Speaker Pro Tem David Osborne said there is no truth to the allegations that he called absolutely absurd. It's unclear when the committee may take up the plan that appears to have broad bipartisan support. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.